I got everything you could possibly want. Chicken, burger, steak, everything. What's going on guys? Brian ESR, we're here at the World Cup Finals in the pits with the Shop Houston and Command Performance. My man, Mac Brosnan right here. We're here to ask you three questions. What are you eating, where are you sleeping, and what are you racing? We already see what you're racing right behind us, but I smell it. At the back of the toter, they got the grill going. Can we go check out what you're eating? Yeah, that's the most important part. I got everything you could possibly want. Chicken, burger, steak, everything. I make everything. So we've done a few videos, and I don't know when people are messing around with me. Like, you, you literally, you got a farm. Yo, I got a farm. Yeah, I got a farm of cows and horses. Instagram name is Insta Farm Boy. So it's real. On Instagram. This is a real deal right here. So, so you know what you're doing, clearly. Yeah, I know how to cook, I know how to drive, I know how to do everything. We do a lot of track events, so I do a lot of cooking. And the this rest guy. of the team, part-time eaters right here, right? Yep. Professional eater? They're all oh, yeah. Eaters. Professional eater, semi-professional race car driver most of the time. I was going to say, is, I see three guys right here. Is this all for the three? <laughs> we don't feed a lot, but it's our last day, so. Yeah, we got we to gotta finish off what we got, so. So what is this going to turn into right here? Uh, we're going to make sausage, egg, and cheeses. We got some steak. We're gonna put some steak on there, make some steak, egg, and cheeses. We, we'll, we'll make everybody good and happy. That sounds legit. This is probably the most legit, fully cooked meal that we've done yet. And they can't go to the farm and eat this if they wanted to. No, they could if they want to. They just gotta fly to Connecticut. Well, you heard it yourselves. If you like what you're looking at, follow them on Instagram, and I guess you can make a reservation at the farm. There you go. I see the toter right here. Is this where you guys sleep for the weekend? No, uh, we're staying at the hotel. Uh, toter. You can definitely stay in it. It's got a bed, it's got a shower, it's got a bathroom, all that stuff. All so that stuff, the toter so. is just to chill during the daytime? Yeah, um, it's it's a total game changer for sleeping on the way to the event. You know, because we're coming from Houston, so up here it's, you know, 24 hour drive. And Going out wow. to Cali, it's 20 something hours. Yeah. All right, so let the people know what they're looking at right here. Uh, this is my GTR, we call it Kimbo. Um, originally we built it to race on the street, so we named it after Kimbo, because originally he was fighting in the street, but. Now, just like he went to the UFC, where you know it's pretty much on the track most of the time nowadays, yeah, uh, yeah. especially with the new setup. We have a Turbo 400 in it right now. Just way better for competitive drag racing than a traditional GTR transmission. So, uh, so far we've been the quickest the car's ever been before this weekend was 697 one time. Uh, we've been 687 or yeah 687, 684, 682. So it's consistent. So when I'm looking at the car, nothing on this car looks stock. Is that the truth? I mean, I got these lights in the bumper that are stock, um, and that's really that's really about it. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the only thing that I could think of. And in terms of building the car, was everything done in house at your shop? Yes, uh, the the roll cage was done uh, by John Little from Little's Race Innovations in Connecticut. Okay. The turbo kit uh, was done by Boost Logic, but for the most part. Everything was still done in-house. Uh, you know, John came down and did uh, most of the cage down there. The turbo kit was finished up at, at our shop. But all the titanium work, we got titanium on the car from Tycon Industries. That was all done in-house by our fabricator. I'm still trying to think of anything else on it that might be stock, but that's pretty much all I got. Food's ready. Look like the team already ate. Your last one to eat. What are you going to make? Uh, I think we got a steak and egg sandwich coming up here. Are you doing steak with the sausage? No, no, just steak. I might have, want, might have want a bolt, you know, try it out a little bit. I don't know, that's what it could have, could have been a big one. Yeah, Pause. But, <laughs> hey, yo! Yeah, but we, uh, you know, right. we got to go fast first round, so maybe maybe I'll stick to one. Grab the sandwich, and we, we're going to want one to ten rating for the chef. And you, uh, you got to give it real one, tone. One bite, everybody knows the rules. There you go. <laughs> Man, that's like a 12-ounce a cut right there. Damn, it's hot, hot off the press. You know, just like Portnoy. It's got good flop. Uh, you know, <laughs> no flop, no flop. Yeah, no, no flop. Uh, nice and crunchy. You're from Con you're from Connecticut, just like Portnoy. Connecticut's the pizza capital of the world. Everybody knows that. What do we got? Well, he usually says one bite. Everybody knows the rules, and it takes six bites. <laughs> and it looks like you're gonna finish the sandwich before you give your rating. Yeah. I'm gonna give this. Um, an 8-7. That's, that's a solid number right there. Yeah, sir, that's a solid. Chef, how do you feel about that? I'm good with it. Yo, Mac, thank you again. We're going to let guys. you finish your meal. Appreciate Best it. of luck. Eliminations today, right? Elimination number one, I think we'll be racing around noon. Well, I want to check my watch with all the guys this wristband. <laughs>